If you were asked to stand like a statue for six hours, even during the coldest winter or the hottest summer, despite taunts and teases from passersby, would you be able to do it for a salary of $28,266? Many conspiracy theorists believe they are just robots built to stand still like a statue wearing those puffy hats even during the hottest summers. Well, of course not. They are flesh and blood humans who are famously known as the Queen's Guard. They aren't just any ceremonial soldiers, they are trained infantry troops who even would have had combat experience, so it is not a big revelation that they are extremely self-disciplined with a high amount of self-control. Like any guard of any high-profile family, the royal guards end up being secretive about the British royals, whom they tend to protect with all their heart and soul. So let us get started with a peep into royal life. Ready to explore what is really behind these secretive royal curtains? How is it possible to be still as a statue? We got an inside scoop on how the guards managed to do such a horrendously boring job without complaining. It is as simple as singing songs or recounting an entire film, not just once, but over and over again, but in their heads. Not many can perform such a dreary task without having their fun. For instance, Few expert guards manage to photobomb tourists, while at the same time managing to not break any rules by staying professional in their posture too. Of course, there are the rest who are just fine watching the passers-by gawking at them. <laughs> you saw that? He just shook his head. We need to mention the fact that this will break the common misconception of the royal guards. They are just not any ceremonial decorative soldiers. In fact, standing still is just one of their many jobs, and the most important part of their already challenging job is to protect the royal family. So just don't think all they have to do is to stand still. For instance, they also need to march 10 paces, turn left, and turn back to their original position every 10 to 15 minutes. Remember, they are flesh and blood humans, so they need that kind of movement in order to stay conscious and avoid their blood pooling down in their legs. Who likes the heat? Hardly anybody does, and it isn't like the guards are allowed to chill in summer clothes. They still have to wear the same bare skin hat and heavy uniforms, including the mirror shining shoes. It wouldn't be surprising if the Queen's guards were to hate the summer. The worst part is not the sweat smell that emerges from them standing under the scorching sun. Actually, it is the part when they are not allowed to wipe the sweat that breaks down from their brow. The tingling feeling from the slow trickle of the sweat rolling down your face is quite irritating for any human, and the guards are, after all, just human beings. Getting roasted under the sun for six hours is quite inhumane, so the Royal Family Service staff would let them break formation to let them have a drink to stay hydrated. Hydrated. However, polishing their shoes every time the guards are on a break is an irksomely mundane job just because the specific boot polish tends to melt away under exposure to the sun. If someone imitates you, will that irritate you or make you feel good about yourself? It is in no way flattery, but a cheap act of poking fun at you. So neither do the Queen's guards enjoy when tourists try to imitate their trademark march. When their years of strutting are done all wrong, then the guards don't enjoy it. After all, they are supposed to keep still and mum. So obviously, giving advice or any type of tutelage is out of the question. The least such bozos can do is to be considerate. After all, is it worth a few laughs? Are they? That would be an exaggeration, but one does reminisce about the day when Queen Elizabeth spent a couple of minutes of her valuable time to know her protection a little better by inquiring about his name and his whereabouts. Just polite small talk, but still it is one of the most memorable moments for the guard. Such instances do happen inevitably, as meeting your majesty will happen eventually. After all, she tends to walk her corgis personally, and at times accompanied by Prince Philip. Good to know she isn't just all royalty and heir, but deep down, a good, considerate human being. So next time you see her face on a stamp or a copper coin, remember, she is as human as you.
Isn't that the question burrowing down your head ever since this video started? Let us finally explain the importance of hats. First off, there is nothing funny about the hat. It isn't like a furry animal trying to crawl out of the guards' heads. It is rather used to intimidate lawbreakers. In the past, if you ever found a guard charging down towards a miscreant, then they are sure to break his head and not just warn him with mere words. Maybe it has got more laughs and curious looks nowadays, especially for the irritating strap worn not around the chin, but rather right below the mouth. Well, let us spell out the reason for that as well. Are you first of all aware that the bear skin weighs around 2 to 4 kilograms? What would happen if a mis-aimed lance shot right through such a heavy hat? Wouldn't it break their necks from the force of impact? Though these were initially originated during the times when horseback was the mode of transport, but still the age-old traditions are followed to date. However, times have changed, and imagine the state of such 4 to 9 pounds of bear skin hats during those rainy days. So don't be surprised if the guards are clenching their jaws. It's just a way to keep their heads straight up high. Of course not literally. It is not like the soldiers march down the forest every other night to skin down a bear to make hats. One bear skin lasts about 50 years or even more before it wears down. Such long durability is not just because of the bearskin material used, but also because of the way the hat maker stitches them up, including the patch-ups, every time they are about to tear down. Listen up, animal lovers. The British royals did try a cruelty-free way, but the synthetic hats not only wore down in a couple months, but also the color started to drain out. Are you against gun ammunition? No worries, the British Royals also avoid loaded rifles. We are just trying to pull your leg. According to the Queen's Guards, they never had to load their ammo, and such circumstances arise only when there is a high-level security threat to the Royal Family. And thankfully, to date, such an imminent attack has never occurred, hence the rifles were never loaded, which has, in turn, supported public safety. Of course, they are not mute. They are just instructed against movement and interaction. Remember, they aren't just any ceremonial soldiers. They are the actual protectors of the royal family. So how would a mute guard be of any use at all? Have you never heard the guards scream at the over-enthusiastic onlookers who tend to disrupt the guard's duty? Check it out. It is awesome the way their voice carries out. Move back or make way for the queen's guard. Won't you love to scream occasionally if you were to have an all-time silent day job? If you ask, can't years of military training achieve perfection? Well, sadly, it doesn't. After all, we are human, and humans tend to err. However, best the guards tend to carry zero emotions and an expressionless face, at some point in time, they tend to break into a laugh or two. The passersby tend to either be funny on purpose or at times by accident, and since the guard's job is to keep a lookout on the crowd for the sake of security reasons, these funny instances have caused them to crack a smile. Of course, occasionally. If an untrained person like you were to stand guard, then we can bet you would be rolling on the floor in laughter most of the time. If you get a chance to be the Queen's Guard for a day, will you go ahead with it? Can you keep a straight face and stand still for six hours at a stretch? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. We appreciate you tuning in. And also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to never miss out on any future videos. You've been watching Binge Central, and we'll see you next time.